Have you passed the coronavirus get hit by the bus test? Like many cleaning business owners, we're all having a hard time. You know, and a lot of the cleaning business owners weren't ready for, you know, to lose a large amount of their clients in just a few days. And you know, the thing is, is that uh, the residential cleaning, uh, cleaning companies, they got hit pretty hard. Um, you know, we know that some of our members that have actually uh, uh, lost uh, all their customers uh, pretty quickly uh, within a few days um, you know and um, others were you know at 50 70 percent and so on and so forth but eventually they all would just decide to decide to, to shut down and uh, to be safe but you know that impacted their companies uh, tremendously uh, you know they had no more revenue coming in and so on and so forth but you know there were some of their clients who were actually paying them for not for not coming to clean. Uh, so you know that's a great testimonial to their service and the relationship they had with those clients. Uh, the commercial side of the business, the commercial industry, uh, many companies are still doing pretty good. Uh, we have some that are actually growing during this time. Uh, there's others that um, that have lost a small percentage of their clients. Not. And, and when I say loss, it's not that they, they, they quit on them, it's just that uh, they postpone service is actually what happened. Because there will be a time when we can reopen and, and uh, re-onboard all these clients. So, but you know the thing is, is uh, um, it's really a, a get, get, uh, get hit by a bus test really, uh, because you know so many people weren't prepared for this. and. They didn't have systems uh, in place that they sh that they might have uh, or should have had, uh, you know. So think about that. What systems didn't you have in place when when this happened? And uh, you know, now is the time to develop them systems so you're so you're prepared next time. You know, the other thing is too is that many companies were not prepared financially. You know, their financial strength just wasn't there. They didn't they didn't have any cash reserves. Uh, you know, which which really hit hard you know there's no way for that for them to meet payroll and, and you know pay invoices and vendors and things like that so that's the other thing to think about is when we look at this get get hit by a bus test from the coronavirus you know these are the things we want to think about and 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 set up systems uh, so so we can smoothly go through something like this again now your your financial strength, uh, you know that's very important. You know, like I say, generally you want to have uh, uh, 30 days worth of cash reserve. You know, 60 to 90 days is best. 90 days is best. I always say 90 days, uh, that's best. But you know that should be your goal is to build up a cash reserve in your business to where your business will survive for 90 days before before it really kind of be uh, cash uh, scrapped. So think about that. Um, and other things too is that uh, you can actually go and get some uh, lines of credit for your business and other things like that there that can be actually be set aside just for things for for things like this you know whenever you have this uh, type of uh, uh, incident happen again well now we have at least now we got a line of credit over here that we can always pull from to meet payroll and pay vendors and things like that so keep that in mind and I think I really think that every every cleaning business owner should have a line of credit um, you know, it's not that you're taking a loan, it's just that you have a reserve of money sitting over here for hard times when you need to buy equipment or pay, meet payroll and stuff like that. Then you're only pulling out what you need and that's it. Then you can replenish it and pay that back. But, uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, I think, uh, I think, uh, everyone uh, should have that. Um, you know, something else is, uh, uh, a lot of people aren't going to, a lot of companies are not going to survive this test. Um, which is, is sad, you know, um, but also, you know, I'm hoping that for those that actually had to go out of business, uh, I hope that they are able to, you know, rebound and, and come back and restart their companies and, uh, and have better, uh, better con controls and systems in place next time. So, uh, so it wouldn't put them out of business. Um. And uh, again, you know, there's uh, there's many resources to help uh, cleaning business owners. We, you know, us at the janitorialstore.com um, and the myhousecleaningbiz.com for the residential uh, side of the industry. You know, we have lots of resources, tools, information, 
and uh, everything a person needs to build a successful cleaning business. Uh, you know, all you need to do is become a member and you get access to, the, to this information. Uh, premium members have access to our uh, two LMSs, our learning management systems that we have uh, with, uh, with lots of videos on there. We have cleaning videos and then we also have other uh, um, uh, development videos on uh, CSU Business Library. But, so the resources are out there, uh, take advantage of them. You know, the small investment that you make to the janitorial store in my house cleaning biz will pay big dividends. And if you take the time to go to our website and look at that, you'll read some of these testimonials that, which people have given that exactly for that small investment, they, they were uh, able to land these uh, larger contracts, you know, for a quarter of a million dollars and, and so on and so forth. But uh, do that because, uh, you know, again, it's a tool. It's a tool for you uh, to overcome this, you know, get hit by the bus test. So, and, uh, you know, the, the thing is, is that now there's others too that, uh, that will survive this and generally because they were uh, proactive in their actions. Uh, so you know what I mean, they're proactive, so that means that they, they contacted their clients right away, had a conversation with them and, and, uh, and may or may more than likely had a plan as to you know, how they might transition through this. Um, but you know, those, those folks will, will, will come through this. Uh, you know, and, um, some of those companies, uh, you know, had a cash reserve uh, to where they where they could hold out a little longer uh, until they decided to close their uh, close their doors because of uh, you know uh, uh, state government or or federal government rules. So, uh, and then the same thing is applies. Like I say, you know, uh, they had uh, they they probably had a creative plan at some uh, at some point and uh, had these things ready. You know, and that's that's really why they're going to. Uh, you know, overcome this and be able to push through and, and come out the other side uh, pretty decent. You know, but, uh, you know, that's the thing to, to do is, uh, you know, think about what those things, uh, you know, what were the systems and, and uh, controls that you didn't have in place that will uh, help you be ready for the next time a virus like this comes through and hits. Now, they're saying the coronavirus could possibly be a seasonal virus. I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm not a scientist. I don't know. But uh, if that's the case, you know, are we going to be looking at something like this every fall to where there possibly could be uh, work at home restrictions and things like that? I don't know. I guess that would all depend on if they if they find a, a, a solution or a shot or, or cure for this, uh, just like, uh, you know, flu shots. Uh, but Anyway, uh, by uh, before that, you know, let's do that. Let's think, start thinking post coronavirus, and uh, and have our systems and controls in place and the resources that we can use to overcome this and come over, come out on the uh, the backside even stronger and better company. So, well, until next time, that's all I got. Uh, I'm Steve Hansen, co-founder of the JanitorialStore.com and MyHouseCleaningBiz.com. And uh, hopefully you found this uh, useful. If you did, go ahead and click on the like and share button and give me a thumbs up. Um, you know, and uh, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and click on the, uh, the subscribe button. And you're going to find hundreds and hundreds of videos that we've done on how to build a successful cleaning business.